The most intense coffee people want to be able to control the exact RPM that the burrs in their grinder spin while they're grinding their coffee. But we're going to see if that actually makes any difference at all. We'll do that by pulling two shots of espresso, one of them with the grinder set at 500 RPM and one of them with the grinder set at 1500 RPM. We'll keep everything else the same using the blind shaker to distribute, tapping to level, tamping, and using a puck screen. This 500 RPM shot pulled pretty fast and ended up hitting our total yield of 40 grams in about 18 seconds. You can see the timer there on the bottom left. And now it's time for our 1500 RPM shot. Interestingly enough, this one pulled noticeably slower, as you can see here with just drops of espresso coming down and not forming a bunch of steady streams. It hit the total yield in 31 seconds. So yes, in this case, the RPM change did make a pretty significant difference, but we still don't know why this is happening or what makes one RPM better or worse than another. It's also not consistent across other grinders and burr sets, and there's some grinders where a higher RPM leads to a faster shot. So there's still a lot more that we need to learn.